Hello creators and makers, this is The Random Engineer. Today we're going to continue with our sheet metal tutorial series uh, using the chalk, sketch, bend and hem features. So for that we're just going to create a base, base flange that it's going to be about 100 by 100 because we really don't mind the shape and let me just edit the K factor here so it's 0.5 no real reason to do it, it's just I wanted to. So first thing we're gonna do is the hem. So the hem just needs you to select the different edges just like a, like you would in a edge flange. And for that, it's just gonna uh, let us do a regular hem. So here you select where do you want the hem to start. Uh, you can do it so that it starts before and the outer outer thickness of the material it's in the same shape in, in the same dimension as your overall shape or you can have it start from the outer flange like it is right now so that's hemming then you have a closed hem which is a basically a Yeah, which is basically a closed hem. Uh, if you do that though, you'll have to make sure that this radius is correct. For this radius, we've, we've got a 0.5 mil. And that's not always necessarily the case, depending on your, on your hemming tool. Uh, here you can have an opening, which you can define by yourself. So if you say five, it's going to be five from the inner faces of the hem. So from there to there, it's going to be five mil. If I edit this, if I go a teardrop, uh, you say how big is the radius? For example, you, we have 3.5 here, and that's 3.5. And we just define the angle, I believe. Yes, that's the angle right there. So if we make it uh, smaller, obviously the teardrop is going to be like that. Uh, teardrop makes, if you change this angle and you have a closed tear, teardrop, uh, that means it's going to extend up to the next face. And if you have a rolled, it's just a, you can select the angle and the radius and it's just gonna be rolled, like if you would be using a rolling machine. So that's hemming. Uh, just You can also define a custom bend allowance here, uh, which is pre probably your bed cane factor or your bend tables, depending on how you want it. And just the relief, as we said last time, tells you the different shapes it's gonna have on one side or the other. So that's hemming, it's pretty pretty straightforward, not that hard at all. So now we're gonna go into jock. So it, a jock, it's a offset uh, face. For that, we have to create a sketch, which just needs to be a line. Let's just say we want it, oops, let's say we want it a, 25 or 10 mil from the edge and that's it as you see I haven't said uh, I haven't make the, the line all the way through because it's not necessary at all so in this case it's only going to ask you for the fixed face so you can ch check and make it this face and you see what's the difference so it's going to assume that this is the fixed face and it's going to make the jock taking into account all the geometry on the side or if you or if you select another face which is going to be the inner one it will do that one so jock angle you can change it here let's just say it's 90 degrees let's put this back a little bit closer And the only thing you have to be careful of is uh, 
your radius right here because usually a uh, close radius will be done by a Wilson wheel but if you want to bend that would mean that you want that you're gonna have to change this image in here as you see the position of the bend of the the, the, dim the dimension of the offset will be defined by this you're gonna have a let's say five mil offset from the outside so that would mean it's going to be from here to here it's going to be five if you edit this it will be from the inner face from there to there you know and the other it's going to be pretty much the overall and as i said you have to be careful about this because if you make i'll, I'll show you what what happens if you do a shorter so it's telling you that the jog offset specified is three and that's minimum of the 4.4 jog offset um please note an offset of zero can be specified with that so 4.4 it's calculated because i believe we, we said the thickness of the material will be 1.2 2.4 plus the radius, yeah, 4.4. So that's how it's calculated. If you make this too small, um, the th if you add the thickness plus the two radiuses plus the thickness again, it's gonna give you 4.4 because that's how we've defined this. So that would be 1.2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1.2, that's 4.4 uh, exactly. If we change this, I'm just going to tell you another number, in this case it's 3, and the minimum needs to be 3.2, and that's just because, again, we we just add the radiuses and the thickness, and we've defined it from this phase to that phase, so that's one radius plus another radius plus a thickness, and that's 1 plus 1 plus 1.2 in this case. And that's, how, that's what it tells you, so it's just going to tell you there's a mistake. We're gonna assume the, the, the smallest, uh, the smallest radius possible. So the the, the smallest um, offset possible. And as always, you have up to vertex, up to surface, or off the offset to surface. So that was just you just have to select where you want it to be. So in this case, if you fix a projected length, uh, this option. It's, as you see, it's going to project this length up to the uh, the face that you need to. So if you uncheck that and make this too big, as you see what it's doing, it's just dragging this material right here and doing the shape. Um, but see, see, that would happen in real life if you have no way of uh, extending this. But since we are in 3D, you can, you can fix the projected length so, so it adapts to the new shape and you end up with a blank that will have that, that shape exactly. But if you uncheck that, that would mean that the only length of material it has will be this one and it's just going to have to work with that and make this happen. And obviously the jog position can be in the center line, just on the side, um, on the inner side. Now, as you see, it just disappeared because the there's not enough material. So let me just edit this a little bit and see what's wrong. So for key, for this one, it starts in the bend line. For this one, the bend, uh, the bend, uh, first bend is on the inside. Yeah, now for this one, I believe the material is in the inside. And there may be some, a just a an option that I'm not looking, considering here. Oh, never mind, it wasn't me. Yeah, so that was why it wasn't working. If I unclick this, though, maybe it won't let me. Let me just check, see what was wrong. I think it was three. There you go. Um, I'm gonna unclick the projected length. 
Okay, that was fixed. There you go. The default one is gonna it's gonna tell you the jog offset and it will project the length just because obviously you wouldn't be able to do the jog in that amount of material that you were trying to do it. So that's what it, uh, the jog does. And finally, the sketch bend. It's a bend that will let you. Um, I'm, I'm just going to show you, and for that, I'm going to move this a little bit to the side. As you see, I'm just changing the uh, the jog position, and in this case, I'm going to create another line. As you see, I'm just creating any angle line. And like always, it's gonna ask you which is the fixed face, and you say if it's that one, it's gonna bend 90 degrees to that and try to do everything. And it's done that. Oops, sorry. I was creating a jack, not a, not a sketch bend. So now I'm gonna click on sketch bend. And again, it's gonna ask you for the fixed face. And as you see, it's going to bend in this and the angle that you have specified um, all the material that is not on the fixed face. So I'm going to click on the other side of the, of, the, of the line. And as you see, it's bending everything that's on the other side. And of, as always, you have a, where you can define where do you want that bend and the angle and the and the direction of the angle so well on the custom bend allowance if it ask you to do it and that's pretty much it there's not there's these these features are pretty straightforward not hard at all um just gonna show you a flat pattern so you can see what's going on and for hems, you have to be really careful about your, your K factors and everything like that, because hems work differently, uh, have a different K factor than regular uh, bend, bend angles, just because the material has to stretch away more on the outer side to get to that position that you want, and this has to compress much, much more. That's why you, you will never have a zero, zero radius and this uh, SOLIDWORKS calculates 0.05 in this case, but you can define that radius also. And yes, that's it. That, I think that's it. So next time I'm going to show you about the corner treatments and probably forming tools if we have any. Let's see if we have some forming tools. Oh, yeah, we do. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. You just drag and drop. Obviously, you have some some dimensions, some options, sorry, and you can do that. So that can do that can be done in a in a punch, in a turret, sorry, in a turret machine. And but I'm going to go into more detail in that this feature just allows you to create your own and you can add them into a, a, fall, a forming tools folder that will uh, let you just drag and drop the forms that you need and just have the shapes that you want just like that so uh, thank you very much much for watching that's gonna be it for today Hope you guys like this tutorial and let me know if you have any other questions regarding these features. See you next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and share it. Subscribe and follow me on social media to know when I'm live. And if you want to support this channel, click on the Patreon button. See you in the next design.